Great everybody, it's your man Mark with MD Ready. So, one of my subscribers reached out to me and said, hey man, do a video getting back to the basics. I said, why not? All right. Had a few students today that did an excellent job. And they actually did a private lesson, trying to figure out what gun is going to be best for them. They wound up selling on the, the um, Smith & Wesson. Please, 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 if you are a person either looking to buy a firearm or looking to get another gun to add to your collection, please make sure you shoot the gun before you buy it. Now, if it's just something you wanted to get just to get, it is what it is. But as, as a new gun owner, shoot the gun first. After you shoot the gun, or not shoot the gun, but shoot some a, a variety of firearms, right? Once you do that, and you're comfortable with the farm, it feels good in your hands. You're then going to have to do what? Buy some ammo. Ammo costs. Ammo isn't cheap. The 2019 prices are done, guys. So for people who've been in the gun game for 10 plus years, you know what I'm talking about. Now, I'm up here just cleaning my AK right now. So just thought it would be a good time to do this. You might be able to buy a bulk of ammo from online, even in your local gun store if you buy it in bulk. Some people go to the gun shows, but I found that even some of the deals at the gun show aren't all that great. Um, so if you're going to need ammo, you may say, oh man, Mark, I can't shoot that often. I'm busy. Well, you got kids like I do. Kids are probably in activities. You're probably spending time with them. Probably doing all kind of fun stuff, right? There are even kids who are playing multiple sports. Granted, we know that less than 1% of people make it to the big leagues you still put time and effort into it so take a little time out to be able to protect yourself and your family and train once you figure out the situation with buying ammo because you're going to need to be able to shoot on a regular basis and i'm not saying anything crazy it could be something as simple as you go shoot once a week right you hit the range once a week but even if you are not able to do that you need to dry fire on a regular base. I'm talking about like every other freaking day. You need to be practicing with a um, a gun that is, of course, no ammo, right? You need, to, you need to practice coming from the holster. So you need a holster. You need to practice dry firing. And you also probably should practice manipulating your firearm in the event that there is a malfunction. Do that weekly. You need to, you need to be one with your gun. <laughs> Married to it. Okay? Besides that, Training. Training is important. I'm not saying just going to the range shooting. I'm saying probably taking a class a few times a year, something that's instructor-led. You need to do it. Number one, it, it allows for somebody else to see where you are making mistakes, right? Also, it allows you to be able to practice with your system. So if you can go do a moving and shooting class, if you can get some instructor-led training, that needs to be done a few times a year. Now, one thing I see that separates the good regular shooters who shoot and they do it without even thinking about it is just time. Time on the gun. Time on the gun, getting the fundamentals down pat, right? Like if you see somebody jerking the trigger, they need more time. They need more training. If you see somebody being hesitant or they're not confident in their shots, especially when they're up close, like seven yards and in, they need more time on the gun. So that's kind of my perspective may not be 100%, but again, it's my perspective. It is what it is. Let me know some things that you think are kind of getting back to the basics for either a new shooter or either somebody that's kind of, um, not, not necessarily a new shooter, but somebody who doesn't train very much. Somebody who needs to kind of hit a bit of a restart. Because we all have things going on, but we all see what's going on with the craziness and the economy, politically, the civil unrest is ridiculous. So get in the habit of doing these things, okay? Again, for my new shooters, shoot the guns first. Look at some guns you like, the little cutie Tiffany pink Glock and all that good stuff. Get it, rent it, shoot it. You're probably not going to like it. Once you select the firearm you want, figure out the ammo situation. How are you going to go about buying your ammo? Are you going to kind of onesie, twosie boxes? Or are you just going to buy a bulk of ammo so you'll have a nice amount? Once you do that, you need to train. Okay, so dry firing, going to the range weekly. Even if you're not able to go every week, 
Slice them off. Won't hurt you. Okay? Then give me some instructor led training. I think those few things will be enough to get you get the momentum going, making you more of a better shooter. And please, whatever you do, please be safe and be responsible. With that being said, guys, this is Mark with MD Ready. God bless you guys. Have a good one. Also, what am I carrying today? Bugs out here like crazy. I have my 48 alien holster. And I'm cleaning the AK. Okay. So, God bless you guys. Have a good one. Be safe. Also, throw another alternate, right? If you need any training, hit me up on Instagram, MD underscore ready. If you need a uh, consultation, same thing. Wear and carry, uh, moving and shooting, Maryland, HQL, uh, Florida, multi-state, D.C., whatever it may be, security training, even some consulting when it comes to security. DM me, email me, text me, whatever it may be. Let's make it happen. God bless you guys. Take care.